Can you really take filthy puddle water and turn it into something safe to drink, just like they do in survival movies? Let's find out. First, the challenge I collected a jar of actual dirty puddle water. Mud, leaves, mystery floaters, the whole package. In movies, the hero usually throws the water through some magical filter, and suddenly it's crystal clear. But reality, way more steps. Step 1. Physical Filtration I built a simple improvised filter using gravel, sand, cloth, and charcoal. This removes the big stuff, sediment, dirt, and visible particles. After running the murky water through the setup, it definitely looked cleaner, but that doesn't mean it's safe. Step 2. Boiling. Movies don't show this, but heat is your best friend. Boiling kills bacteria, parasites, and anything else you definitely don't want living inside you. Step 3. The taste test setup. Not drinking it yet, don't worry, I used test strips to check for contaminants. The water passed most basic safety markers, but here's the catch. Improvised filters can't remove chemicals, oils, or heavy metals. If the puddle was contaminated with anything industrial, no homemade system is fixing that. So, can you make clean water from a dirty puddle like in the movies? Yeah, but only if the water is naturally contaminated and not chemically polluted. With a proper improvised filter and boiling, you can get water that's safe enough for survival. But movie style one quick filter and done? Total myth. Movie myths tested. Reality exposed. And if you enjoyed this experiment, hit like, share with a friend, and subscribe for more real-life survival tests.